What is up everybody and welcome back to Minecraft Relaxing with Mods. So last episode, uh, we finished making our diamond armor. We also enchanted a jetpack and we kind of, you know, got ourselves all geared up for whatever we have to face out in the night. Um, and yeah, so I was just kind of, I was, uh, I was making these in ingots like I was doing last episode. We really seriously are low on iron, like badly low. We have seven ingots of iron, which is pretty bad. But, we don't really have to worry about that right now because, uh, I have a plan. I have something to do. Actually, it has nothing to do with iron at all. But, it kind of does if we go and get some berry bushes later. Um, what my plan is, what I want to do this episode, is I want to start making a farm. Okay? Because, like, I don't know, we're, we're, running, we're running out of equipment, or, no, you know, uh, out of ingots. And, uh, all this grass here looks really terrible, and I feel like we're not really utilizing all these huge grassy fields we have. So, what I did is, I downloaded a mod that'll help us out with this. It's, uh, the Extreme Farming mod. And let me just give you a taste of what it can do. We're not gonna actually, uh, we're not gonna do anything- Oh, we're not gonna actually, like, do it all right now. Um, let me just give you a taste. So what we do is, with the Extreme Farming mod, well, I just- I just did not praise those gunpowders, right? Um, we want to make it like this, right? We kind of make a carrot TNT. 666 actually is the item idea on that. Great. Um, so anyway, yeah, we make TNT out of, let's say, carrots. And when we place them, when we place it, we can kind of actually, let's do it over here. So I want to use all of that spot, all of that green, like all the green behind us. I want to use it. Uh, let's do it over this way. Oh, come on. My, my jetpack is not very fast. Alright, so if we place this down, this carrot TNT thing, and then we set it ablaze, and we wait for it to explode, it will actually explode out a bunch of carrots, which is awesome. Um, and they actually are planted in the ground, too. Now, obviously, these things won't grow, because there's not really, like, any water or anything, but, uh, yeah, if we can just harvest, like, one by one and get some carrots. And, uh, I mean, this is pretty much, it's, like, almost, like, quadrupling the amount of carrots we spent to get it. To get the one uh, TNT, but we have to spend our gunpowder on it, which I don't really want to do very much. So I was thinking, because there's a lot of other uh, TNT blocks you can make, like beyond the um, carrot one. You can make one like with potatoes. You can make one with um, I don't know anything you can really plant. So what I wanted to do to get more gunpowder, I was thinking we use our greater sword, okay, and uh, we try to great uh, grade up some creepers. Now here's the thing. We can make creeper eggs. Oh yeah, I put all our equipment in this in this uh, box. We can make creeper eggs. Now, what I want to test is, can a creeper give me back... I think it's, it's just probably four gunpowder. Yeah, if I spawn a creeper, can I grate over four gunpowder from it? That is the test, because then we can actually profit from um, spawning creepers with our eggs. We'll just use up eggs, but we can have a million eggs because of our chicken farm. So that's what I want to do. I want to spawn in a creeper, and let's see if we can get four gunpowder. So right now we have 24 gunpowder. So, oop, there we go. Alright. One, two, and then three. Alright, so it actually just only equals four. Now let's get rid of this egg, which always just never goes away. Alright, that kind of stinks. So, if we use an egg to get creepers, we're not going to get back any more gunpowder than we spent. I don't think there's any way we can, like, make our greater sword weaker, either. So, okay, that, that idea's out of it. I, I was thinking about that. Well, we can, what we can do is we can just, you know, in the night, we can find some creepers or something like that. Can we make a creeper spawner, actually? I thought you could. I thought you could make, like, a like a monster spawner. Uh, yeah, you can. Oh, oh, I see. So it takes diamonds, and then I'm assuming if we put, like, a creeper spawn creeper in the middle, we can, we can get a creeper out of that. Not 100% sure if that's right, but it sounds good enough. Because, yeah, it does look like Monster Spawner just uses a pig. I wonder if we put, like, a creeper in there if we could spawn it. We don't have four diamonds, though. Shoot. <sighs> Alright, so that plan is out, of there, is out of it. So what we have is we have gunpowder. We, we don't have that much to make uh, what we need to do. But we can, we can at least do some things, because we can just... We can obviously grate some more gunpowder um, off of some creepers. Everything's coming together. I like it. All these mods work together very well. Okay, so now that you guys got a little taste of what we want to do, first things first, we have to make a very flat land surface. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we have a really good plot of land, like, right here. And thank God we have this excavator, because this thing, um, okay, actually, I don't want it to dig down. This thing will help us do this if we just, if we go like this. 
But I think what the best way to do it is dig a little bit far away from us. Yeah, and then go like this. Oh no. Well, hmm. I guess this would level the land a little bit, but I guess that's okay. You know what? We'll do it like this. This will be fine. Uh, this will level the land out. All right. So we don't want any of these hills. That's what we're trying to get rid of. Is all these is all these hills. Um, and yeah. So after we get a nice flat plot of land, we can start making some awesome farming explosions. And this, yeah, this excavator is actually pretty fast. I mean, we could make it faster. You know what? I think we should make it faster. We have redstone. We have extra redstone. Let's make this thing faster, because we're going to be using it a lot. I was thinking, like, what to do with the excavator, and then I'm like, wait a minute. That's perfect. We need it to dig out all of our land for us. Uh, okay. Let's see. Um, well, let's put the dirt, oop, let's put the dirt back for now. Okay. Uh, alright, so let's see. Redstone. We only have four redstone. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're running out of stuff. We're running out of stuff quick. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll spend it. I'll spend it all. Oops. I'll try to hasten this thing up. Oh, actually, I think that... That's 49 out of 50. Oh. So that's almost as fast as possible. Okay. Well, I guess it's not that bad. Alright, let's look at how much we have. So if I'm trying to... If I'm trying to get everything kind of low, like at that level lowness, it doesn't look like too bad. It looks like actually we could just kind of... If we just dig into here, and then we reach an edge. Alright. This is, this is the fastest... Whoop. Alright, there's the edge. Kind of. Uh, and then we dig this way. It's pretty much as soon as it, you know, hits the, hits the one, the, the one high blocks. That's when we can stop. Let's just try to do as much as possible. This is like, a, this can make a cool maze, almost. There right, we go. See, I'm just digging out all the, the level two. There we go, so that stops there. Okay, let's keep going. It looks like if we just go this way, this'll all get dug up. Alright, this is gonna be a little bit uneven, but that's okay, because the, uh, this mod isn't perfect. In that the farms it creates aren't like symmetrical or anything like not even in the least bit oops They're not even in the least bit like symmetrical, uh, but it's just it makes it so much quicker doing it like this All right, so let's go this way now. How are we doing? Um, it's only a little bit farther Okay, and then this one take down that Oop, take down this wall Okay, I don't know how far it goes over this way that looks like it actually goes pretty far So you know what? we'll leave it there to make it a little bit more manageable um, alright, let's get rid of this. All these center bits. Thank god we made this excavator. <laughs> okay, can you imagine doing this with a shovel? That would literally take me a year and a half. Alright, there we are. Um, alright, and then over here. Then this should be good. And obviously, you know, it doesn't matter if everything's on the same, the same level. I just wanted to make it look as best as possible. And like I said, oops. It's not gonna be symmetrical. At all. <laughs> so we might as well not even worry about it. Alright, I think that's good. There we go. It's a nice, big, like, non-symmetrical plot of land. Perfect! Let's just, hold on, let's finish this off over here. Okay, cool. So now what we gotta do is, now that we have a ton of, ton of dirt, which is great, because we need that. Now that they have a ton of dirt, we have to, uh, terraform this land. So, we could just use our normal hoe, and just, you know, hoe all the land, but we are way better than that. So what we're gonna do is, first off, we're gonna make two different types of bombs. Two different types of the TNT bombs. Um, the first one we need water for, which I believe we have water up here. I believe we have some extra water in our chest. Yeah, I don't know how much water. Hold on, let's look at our water bucket usage. Uh, what is that? We can make podzel. Interesting. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so a water bomb is four buckets of water. Okay, hopefully we get these buckets back. I would not like to lose four buckets. Is that an emerald seed? Yeah, all right. We'll put these on our emerald seed farm we've been keeping. Um, okay, so cool. Oh, hey, little L. You just taking a bath? Good. Um, okay, let's put these. Let's just put these up here real quick. Uh, and then, actually, you know what we could do? We could check on our. Let's check on our berries because I really, like, I, I seriously need ingots. And the berries, while they're not the best. Oh, look, a creeper died in here. That's perfect. That is perfect. We need we need all the gunpowder we can really get. I wonder if we can make gunpowder. I didn't actually even check that. I bet there's like a crafting recipe. There's a crafting recipe for like everything. I bet there's one for gunpowder. Maybe I just don't know it. Um, let's just check. Oh, we're actually out of space. All right. Uh, yeah, let's check if there's a recipe for gunpowder. Why not? Let's see. No, there's nothing. You can't make gunpowder. Okay, so it's a raw ingredient. Nothing we can do about that. All right, let's empty our, inv our inventory real quick from all this dirt and these berries and stuff. And, um, let's, uh, let's just go in through here, the bed. Alright. Yeah, let's empty your inventory real quick, and then we'll make the water bombs. 
And then I'll be good. Alright, let's throw all those in there. Okay. Um, alright. I want to harvest my essence berries. Always as soon as possible, but we'll leave them for now. Okay, so dirt going here. There we go. Um, now what? Our carrots? We don't, we don't need this many carrots in our inventory. I mean, obviously we can make some carrot bombs and stuff. But we'll put those in there. We have like seeds and stuff and orange tulips. Okay. All right. So that's good. So let's see. We now we need to make we need to make these uh these bombs, these water bombs. I want to make two water bombs, and hopefully this will be enough. I'm not really sure if it will be, but hopefully it will be. Um. Oh, I need to get more water. Yeah, more water buckets. So we're gonna make two water bombs, and we're also gonna make probably like three. I don't know if that'll be enough. Three um. Three dirt bombs, that's what they're called, I think, or dirt TNT or something. So let's grab our, like, just a stack of dirt, or half, even just, like, half a stack. Oops. Half a stack of dirt. Alright, so yeah, we want to make, like, at least three. So let's just do, like, that. We don't want to make five. There we go. Yeah, so we only have enough TNT for two more bombs. Oh, did I just do it wrong? Yeah, I did. Oopsies. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so we don't actually have enough TNT for even two bombs. Alright, so that should make, uh, three, right? Um, well, hold on. There we go. Okay, so let's make three. There we go. Three dirt bombs. Yeah, now our TNT or our gunpowder is really low. That's okay. We, we can grate some more once it turns nighttime, which does seem like it is right now. All right, good. Good. So, all right, let's do stuff. Let us uh, go out, and we're going to hunt down some creepers. Probably not for the whole night, because I do want to get to actually terraforming. Um, but at least for some of the night, we need to go hunt some creepers. Uh, what was I going to do? I'm going to place these berries in here. See, how many, uh, ingots of... We only have one ingot of iron. We have eight nuggets, though. So these iron ore berries should give us another ingot. It's like, the, the ore berries are great. I just, I feel like we need, like, a million bushes if we're ever going to get anywhere with them. Which is okay, because, I mean, with our farm, as long... If we just, like, expand... If we expand our, our farm down there... If we just harv harvest nine of the berry bushes, that's one ingot. Which, I mean, isn't great, like I said. But it, it beats exploration, I guess. I want to make... Say, my, my goal is I want to make everything, like, aut autonomous, I guess you could say. I want to make it so we don't have to go out and, like, do anything. I want everything to be right here, and we can relax. <laughs> that's the point of the whole game. And we can just do nothing. Like, how is our chicken farm doing? How are these eggs? You got 11, you got 7, 15. Yeah, they're, they're popping them out pretty quickly, you know, considering. Cool. Okay, you guys keep it up. Um, all right, so let's go back in. Now, let us go out. So we can test our armor, too, I guess, a little bit. What I want to do is I want to go up here, and I want to make sure we have a good beacon power. Uh, I didn't bring anything to do that. I wanted to do resistance. So let's, hold on, let's get it, like, a, just to grab a piece of gold and put some resistance on. Because I don't want to, oops, I just don't want to die from all the creepers. If we can get, like, blast resistance, that'd be great. I don't know what the resistance actually gives. It might just be protection or something, but let's just see. Okay, so, yep, and then we want to go resistance, done. So what's that going to give us? Is that good? Do we have resistance? Yeah. I don't know what resistance is, but sure. All right. <laughs> okay, so. I see a creeper over here. Hopefully you guys can see also. Um, we have 17 torches. I can make some more. Can just place them around everywhere. Oh, we're going to need the torches to... Oh, crap. To light up our our farm anyway. Come here, creeper! Go we'll place a torch down. Also, I mean, I guess we shouldn't place too many torches down. I do want the creepers to spawn. So, that'd be a problem. Alright, there we go. We got some... Oh, there's a bunch of creepers right here. Look, this is good. Alright, die. Oop. Don't, we don't, if they explode, they're going to destroy all their gunpowder, which is not good. Not good at all. ah yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And dead, dead. Awesome. And then I guess they actually do, I guess they drop gunpowder when they die, too, which is great. Oh, crap, we got a wolf. Hold on. We'll just take Griefbringer and own him. I, oh, I need to get quartz. We have to go into the nether at some point and get nether quartz. Alright. Eh, eh. Oh, this creeper's running. <laughs> okay. How many is that? This is, yeah, oh, this is such a quick way to get gunpowder. This is great. And there just so happens to be, like, a million creepers out tonight, which is perfect. There we go. Like, each each creeper is giving me, like, seven gunpowder or something. Oh, look at the silver knight. Come here! I don't get what that is doing, me, like, jumping like that. Oh, does that give me, like, huh. It almost felt like that powered me up a little bit. Right? Like, I was just doing 12 damage. 
When I when I do that, like the little charge thing, does that power me up? Let's see. Oh shoot, it does. Ha! <laughs> I thought it was just like a little like jump boost, but no. When I do that, it makes me a little bit hungry, but it makes me more like stronger. Neat. Now I can just like two hit things. I guess I don't really have to go to the Nether now. I guess it doesn't really it doesn't really last that long though. I would like it just to do ten damage. If that's not too much to ask. The hell is this thing? A big golem. 50, 50 life? I don't think so, pal. Okay, I guess, okay. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, shoot. What did I just do? Uh. Oh, snap. He's angry. He's angry as heck. Uh. Ah! Um. Can we shoot him? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that thing be. Shoot. I don't know what that was all about. Die. Ooh, I got like that knockback, too. Crazy knockback. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's our yeah. Here's our plot of land. All right. How many? That's 37 gunpowder. I'd like to get more. We definitely have to get more. Let's just kill off these guys. I don't want to go near that that golem though. Hey, grapes. Um. Okay. Well, let's just see if we can. What is that? Oh, it's a zombie riding a horse. All right. Let's go to the other end. Oh wait. There's a creeper. There's a creeper right there. Hey, creeper. Come here. Die. Die. Oh shoot. <laughs> Alright, I shouldn't do- oh my god. Ah! Why? What is this thing? How do I kill a golem? Oh my god, he's gonna start ruining all my land. I can't shoot him. That doesn't do anything. Oh my god, baby zombie! Hoo -hoo! Baby zombie! Hoo -hoo! With a fire sword? What the hell is he carrying? Baby zombie. Ooh, baby zombie just got sniped! <laughs> Did he drop anything? Stop throwing dirt at me, you stupid golem. Alright, uh, hold on, let's deal with this thing. This, this monstrosity. There we go. Okay. Um, oh, I see a creeper. Yeah, you have to be careful. I, I let those, I let that other creeper blow up. All the gunpowder. Oh, come on! Stop throwing the dirt! Ah! Alright, die! Good. Any creepers over here? There's always so many out and about. Look at this. Yeah, there's always a ton. And we've also haven't had a good old-fashioned just mob slaying night. This is nice. This is nice. Reminds me of the old times. As long as that stupid... Ah, oh, shoot. As long as that stupid golem just goes away in the morning, I'll be okay. Okay, hold on. You got a lot of guys here. Oop, I heard another creeper just do a little hiss. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay, let's charge. Ayah! Oh, God. Oh, I just one-hit that creeper. How much am I really... So if I charge all the way, I do, a, like, 11? That's not great. I want it to be, like, 25. Um, okay. Let's eat up. Let's get this creeper's gunpowder off him. Grate him like cheese. Great you like your the cheese you are, creeper. There we are. Okay, cool. Cool! Um, was there another piece of gunpowder over here? Yeah, right there. Awesome. Any other... Oh, God, look at that skeleton. Ow! Any other creepers? Oh, and there's also a witch. Hold on. Uh, let's just get rid of this guy. And... Die. Oh, only 15. He has nice golden armor on. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, let's, I saw another creeper over this. Ooh, yep, right there. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, 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 come on! Ah, uh, he blows up all of it. It's such like a risky... It's a risky way to get gunpowder, but it's the only way. Okay, are we looking at anyone else? There's a witch. I wonder what I grate off a witch. What do you think? Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like anything, actually. Yeah. Mm. Greater, the greater sword's okay. Ooh, did you have glowstone and sugar? It's neat. I just wish the greater sword would, like, grate more enemies. It seems like it's only, like, creepers and spiders, like, all the normal ones. Alright, is the night almost done? I'd like to actually make these bombs beforehand. Before the night... Ah! Before the night finishes. Or, I mean, you know, before the, <laughs> the video finishes. Alright, I think we should go to bed. There's one last creeper here. Oh, actually, there's, like, four over that way, too. Hold on. We got we got it. We can't we can't let all of them go. We, oh, no! That, that, that zombie just stole the piece of gunpowder! Go away, zombie! Oh no, the baby zombie just stole a piece of- Ah! No! <laughs> there we go. Ow. Alright. Stupid zombie thieves. Those are my gunpowders. The moon is- Yeah, the sun's coming up. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. This was a fun time, killing a bunch of zombies and, and mobs and, and not killing golems and stuff. Uh, okay, hold on. There's a lot of- These guys are surrounding me now. Let's charge up to 11. Okay. Let's try to get rid of this- Oh no, I just hit the creeper. No! That's like two gunpowder I just like lost. Alright, yeah, yeah. 
Here's another one. Hiya, hiya! Oh, no, 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 pull up! Ah! Oh, wait. Look, that survived. Hooray. Alright. I think we're good. Daytime's coming up. I think we're fine. So. Oh, it's raining. Shoot. I don't think this should be a problem. Hopefully the TNT still work in the rain. And this is good for the crops and everything. All right, so we got 60 out. Yeah, we got a, literally an exact stack of gunpowder. Thank you, Greater Sword. Okay, so what we have to do first is to place our water bombs down. Now what's gonna happen is when I let this go, it's gonna spread water everywhere, which is good. That's what we want, so let's try it. I'm just, oh, I'm a little bit afraid of this. I think this is too close. This, um, how it's like the ledge is over here. I don't like this. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get rid of all this junk. Real quick. Ah! Get out of here. Oh, shoot. Nothing's going to start burning. All, all of the mobs are going to stay alive. That's the worst point for rain to ever start. All right. Let's do this. Let's get rid of all, all this dirt. I just, yeah, I don't want the water bomb to mess up and make water too far away. So let's get rid of all this. You'll see what I mean. Because it's, it's really random where the water goes. Um, and I don't want it to hit any of these ledges. Because then, because if we hit, if it hits one of these ledges, it'll make like a little stream of water, which will flood the crops. I don't want that. Don't want that at all. We don't want flooding of our crops. Okay. I think that should be far enough. So let's light this bad boy and see what happens. Okay, hopefully this works in the rain and... Yeah! All right. So now as you can see, we got water just kind of scattered everywhere, which is okay. We're going to place another water bomb over here. We probably do need three. I was thinking two would be enough, but... Let's just get a nice bird eye view here. All right, there we go. Oh, see, now this is what I didn't want was these these wasted pieces right here. Okay, oops. All right, so now, now we can at least place at least two dirt bombs. So if we place one over here and then we light it, what's going to happen is it's going to do all of the job a hoe would for us. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. So it just, it just hoed everything that, you know, is around it, at least a lot of places around it. And then it won't go over the water spaces, which is great. And uh, now that the water's there, you know, most of the, of the land won't get um, dried up, which is great, which is good. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, like I said, the, the farm's not perfect. Uh, if we do place another, if we place like another one here, that should probably do, do some good. That should probably fill in the gaps. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we need more water. We need another water bomb. Or else, as you can see, like, some spots like this that aren't really close to water just won't get, uh, just won't get softened. I don't know if the, I think the, I don't know if the rain's doing this. I'm not sure. I think the water bomb will actually place water underneath, like, underneath the ground, too, which is good. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this, okay? I do, I, I want to make another water bomb, actually. We, we have to. I don't want them to be all dried up. We'll make one more water bomb. See, the whole thing is you usually want to do the water bomb first because I think the water bomb will actually go over the dirt, which is bad. That just kind of ruins the farm. But, all right. So this is good. At least we got the terraforming down. We got all the creepers dead. We can make as many bombs as we want to. And everything will be fine. So let's see. We can make, yeah, we can make, we can make like 11 or more bombs. So there we go. We got one more water bomb. All right. This should be enough. As long as I place it strategically... It should be good. And then, I mean, I'm not really worried about food, really. Like, we can put as much food as we want. There's just, you know, everything else. All the other kind of things. Let's see, where do we want to put this? Probably, like, over here. Like, right there. That should be fine. I mean, given all that, you know, all that's pretty watery, but I just want to make sure. There we go. Okay, so that should be good. And then let's remove that and that. Oops. See, that's why I don't want them too close to the ledges, because then we get this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there we go. Hope you guys all enjoyed. This has been the, uh, we were using the extreme farming mod, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to wait for all of them to become damp. And we can just, you know, place like a carrot bomb and then it'll spread carrots everywhere, it'll be, which will be great. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there we go. That's, that's part of that done. Oh, there's an egg gut free. Let's see if it'll spawn a chicken. Nope. Okay. All right, so there we go. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Next episode, um, I don't know, I guess we'll add to the farm a little bit. I was just thinking like, why not? Like, this seems pretty cool. And we have such like a big plot of land here. I do need a I do need to fence it off. So I have a bunch of wood. Maybe I'll make some fences and do that off camera or something. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys all enjoyed. And until next episode, I will see you all later.